One day when the glory comes, it will be our In America before 1864, we had slavery, a cruel era in which slaves were forced to labor without ever being remunerated for their work. Following the Civil War, the period of Reconstruction commenced, allowing blacks to have legitimate paying jobs in government, economy, agriculture, etc. Following the Plessy v. Ferguson case in 1896, Jim Crow laws were instituted nationally, which took away African Americans' rights, instituted segregation in public and social events, and much more. This period in time was called the Civil Rights Era. The Civil Rights Era ended in 1968 following Martin Luther King Jr.'s death, but many argue that this era still continued through making the prison system in America prejudice. The idea is that if the amount of blacks incarcerated increases, then once they get out of jail, their rights will be taken away, therefore rendering these ex-cons no freer than blacks during the Civil Rights Era. This is what Michelle Alexander calls the new Jim Crow, and this is what happened to Reuben Carter. A middleweight boxer unjustly imprisoned for 20 years, Reuben Hurricane Carter's case shows that race has and still dictates the probability of people being incarcerated in the United States and the disproportionate number of black males in the American prison system. In 1966, Reuben Carter and his friend John Artis were stopped by the police. Police brought the car to a crime scene and found ammunition that fit the scene of the murder, without taking any fingerprints at the scene or taking a paraffin test for the gunshot residue. Reuben Carter and John Artis were arrested and convicted for a triple homicide committed in Lafayette Bar and Grill in Patterson, New Jersey. Both served time in Rahway State Prison. And this still happens in present day. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, as of 2014, approximately 12 to 13 percent of the American population is African American. But surprisingly, they make up 35 percent of jail inmates and 37 percent of prison inmates of the 2.2 million male inmates. In Baltimore, a form for trespass arrest already had black male filled out. A woman with a broken headlight was publicly strip searched, even in her anal cavity, and they found nothing. This is from the Department of Justice report. Officers ordered the woman to exit her vehicle, remove her clothes, and stand on the sidewalk to be searched. The woman asked the male officer in charge, I really got to take all my clothes off? The male officer replied, yeah, and ordered a female officer to strip search the woman. Finding no weapons or contraband around the woman's chest, the officer then pulled down the woman's underwear and searched her anal cavity. This search again found no evidence of wrongdoing, and the officers released the woman without charges. The search occurred in full view of the street, although the supervising male officer claimed he turned away and did not watch the woman disrobe. During a DOJ ride-along, a sergeant said to an officer, make something up to justify a bogus stop. Department officials, a Baltimore Police Department sergeant instructed a patrol officer to stop a group of young African-American males on a street corner, questioned them and ordered them to disperse. When the patrol officer protested that he had no valid reason to stop the group, the sergeant replied, then make something up. And this has also extended to police brutality, prejudice, police brutality. As of 2015, police killed at least 102 unarmed black people, nearly twice each week. Nearly one in three black people killed by police were identified as unarmed. 37% of unarmed people killed by police were black, despite black people being only 13% of the U.S. population. And black people were killed at five times the rate of unarmed whites in 2015. So, evidently, even though the civil rights era is over, more blacks still remain incarcerated. More blacks still seem to die, which begs the question, are all blacks just criminals? Are all blacks guilty? Or has the Jim Crow era been perpetuated in a new form?